In this video, we're going to take a look at the My Materials Engineering app. This is designed to capture all of your data for all of your materials. This goes a little bit beyond your actual test data. So what we have is a view where we can see all of our materials, just like we have in our grid view. And we can also see some of the other accessory information that you might not have. So whether you have a need for processing, composition, alias, availability, applications, certification, MSDS, and data sheets, these are some new information that you can add to your materials database. The properties, of course, is a configuration that we've always had, and now we can also add CAE models. But the idea here is to make sure that you're capturing all of your information, all of your legacy information on your materials under one platform. So in this situation, we're going to go take a look at some feedstock, and we're going to look at this sample right here. We noticed, again, we have some information, we have some property data, that's great, and we have some composition information. So let's take a quick look at that. We can review it, we can make any modifications. Right now I see that we've got the wax at 10% and the powder at 90%. That looks fine to me. Looks pretty thorough. Adds up to 100%. That's what we're looking for. We can also go in here and check the availability. Let's say we know that perhaps this material we know is available in Americas and in Europe. We can make that update and we can make those changes as well. We can modify any of these things, including processing, which I think is one of the most important aspects to capture of your materials. So we can go in here, we can take a look at the processing, select the process. In this case, this is a metal injection molding. We're going to take a look at an injection molding and add this step here. And as you can see, we can add quite a bit of data here. I'm just going to add some simple data points here. I know maybe I got this off of my data sheets. Maybe I've got this off of some other report. But we can add just again, rather simple information here. Fill in this information. This is something you might want your people to see. You want to have this basically data that's available for people to review, um, giving them excellent processing information. And we're just going to finish putting this in here. And again, there's some more data points that we could put in here if we wanted to do. I'm not going to add all this in here for right now. And we'll put that at 190. And the mold temperature here, you can put this as a single point or as a range. I'm just going to go ahead and do a very simple range right here. And again, there's more information I could add if I wanted to. And now I've got that processing information in there right now. I can add another processing step if necessary. But in this case, we're all set. So now, in a matter of just a few moments, I was able to bring a lot more information to our materials. We now have, again, besides just our property data, we've updated the processing information, the composition, and the availability. The My Materials app was really designed to answer the question of what can I do as far as capturing all of my data besides just the raw material data files. That's where materiality has obviously grown in strength. We can capture CAE files, but now you can capture all of your data under one platform. If you have multiple data sources and are still scrambling to find places to store your information and have trouble tracking your data, the materiality solution may be great for you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.